Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have EBL portable power station. Guys, I have the 500 watt with 519.4 watt hour and the 1000 watt, the MP1000 with, with 1000 watt hour. I have the solar panel. This is the EBL 100 watt solar panel. Monocrystalline, I'm gonna show you those. We have two of those. I'm gonna put them both to see what we get on charging. Guys, I have holding case. So this is a carrying case for each of these. I'm gonna show you both of those before we get into the uh, portable power station. Let's check out the solar panel. Let's check out the carrying case before we check out the uh, portable power stations. Okay, we got the carrying case over here. Has a nice little handle, a little Velcro strap so you can get both of them together. Just everything's Velcro on the top. Oh, it has zippers on the bottom, so that's pretty cool. Pull these Velcros off. I like the flaps because it, it, this is like a, a rubber type material, so it, it must be water resistant. Get that open. Got a case up here. A little see through so you can see what's inside. A little uh, shoulder straps. Real big in size, so the portable power station slides right in there. Let me grab one. Guys, here's a thousand watt. Goes right in here. Drop your handle. Zip up. So you zip it all the way, then you flip your Velcro over. That keeps it nice and dry. You know, I, I don't recommend you put it in water, but if you do have it outside camping, this will take care of that. Real nice quality, real thick. It's, it's heavy. You can tell it's thick. Nicely padded. Fits real good. All right, so that's the carrying case. On the side, you have a little pocket right here. A little pocket in the front. A little pocket right here. And another one on the side. Nothing in the back. Okay, that's the carrying case. All right, guys, come over here. We're gonna take a look at this solar panel. So I'm gonna stand them up real quick. Okay, guys, I got the two solar panels, 200 watt. This is 100 watt and another 100 watt right here. They are foldable solar panels. This one's on the front. You have a stand, you have a Velcro stand so you can get this to stand up. And on the other side, you have another stand, but you have this awesome case that houses all your adapters. You have your this one for solar charging. So you plug into the MC4 that comes out the solar panel right here. And there's your manual. There's a few adapters, so you can, uh, I guess you can adapt this one so it would hook up. This one right here, you can adapt it. You can hook this up. And with these adapters, you can go to almost any plug for your, with the solar panel. It's pretty cool. It comes with almost all the different plugs. This will come in handy. Very good, will come in handy. So you can charge this using this plug for the solar or this one right here, plug into the bow port. All right. So that's the solar panel there. Uh, here you go. Max volt, 20 volt, max current, five amps, MC4 output, 23.85 open circuit and short circuit, 5.28 amps. 100 watts, monocrystalline solar panel, 23% and operates in 10 Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Here's one thing I did not realize. It's magnetic. So this, these are held together by magnets. So once you put them together, they snap back. Awesome, like that. This is what they look like fully open. So you put your stand and it would stand up. EBL portable powers. Portable solar panels by EBL. Very cool. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's get the portable power station out so we can go through them, see what they have. We're gonna go through the 500 watt and the 1000 watt and just check them out. The only difference is the output power. 
Okay guys, we got the two portable power station out. We have the 1000 watt right here and the 500 watt. They are the exact size. This one is just about half an inch taller than 1000, but size wise, pretty close. I like the handle on the top, so you can carry this thing around. Handle comes up, feet flush. This one does the same thing, goes down flush. All right, let's turn both of them on. 1000, 500, both fully charged. Work light right here. Both have the same work light. One touch off. You got 12 volt output, 14 volt, eight amps. Barrel, this is output, 14 volt, eight amps also. This is your DC switch right here. That's how you turn this on. USB A, three of them. USB C, one, 60 watt. Same thing over here on the 500. You have two 120 volt output, pure sine wave. We're gonna test that. This is how you turn your AC load on. Once you turn the load on, you'll see the watts come up right here and it's the AC on. You turn the DC on, it will, watts will come up for the DC. It'll say DC on. USB, USB on, and the wattage. You get the wattage for each one individually. Let's turn all of them off. On the top, I hope you guys can see this, you have your cell phone charger. So if you get your cell phone, you put this on the top, you turn on your USB, and your phone will start charging. So on this one, you have 1,000 watts, 999 watt hour. On the, this one, you have 500 watts and 519 watt hour. Spin them around, vents. Nothing on the back, just the EBL logo on the back. You can see how the handles kind of fit in there. They can put a little notch out so you can grab the handle. And there's your other fan. And that's it guys. Let's put some something on this. Let's do a quick load test to make sure that we can get 500 from this one and 1000 from this one. Okay, so I got everything set up. We have, this is 2000 watts. I'm only gonna use the two top ones which is each one is 500 watts. We'll use one to test the 500 watt and two to test the 1000 watts. All right, we're all, we're just gonna use the uh, Variac to control the amps and the voltage that goes out. And we should be able to get exactly what we need on our power station. As you can see right here, guys, pure sine wave. You see that sine wave? I hope you can see it. Pure sine wave. I'm gonna leave it on while I do the test. Everybody asked me to leave it on while you do the test, so we're just gonna keep it on. And I'm gonna come over here and let's see if we can get 500 watts from this guy right here. It's putting out 12.98, which tells me this is a regulated output. So here, let's get 500 watts on this thing. Get the timer going. And I'm gonna turn this on and add some voltage you'll see the light starts coming on and they come over here you see we're pulling 230 watts let's get right about halfway it's pretty cool the fan comes on uh, slowly and just ramps up real slow based on the wattage still putting out a pure sine wave with 350 watts coming out of it Even though I have two lights on, I can control the wattage using the Variac. Let's go to 450. There you go, 510. Real quiet absolutely quiet silent the fan is not loud and the voltage never changed it's still at 12.9 which is good it is regulated that's real good okay guys we're pulling 500 watts absolutely no problem let's 
still have a putting out a pure sine wave at 500 watts. Let's go and see where we overload. 600, 630. Oh, there you go. You get to right about 625 and it shuts off, which is absolutely perfect. Turn the variac down. Okay, so EVL 500, you could pull 625 watts before it overloads, which is absolutely perfect. And you have a regulated output and pure sound. All right, so it is putting out the same 12.99, 12.9 on the DC regulated output. We have the AC on, very connected. I'm gonna use 1500 watts, so that's one, two, three, to see if we can overload this thing, okay? Let's start adding some power. Let's get to 500. Let's start the timer. Pulling 500 watts. You can hear that fan coming on real slow. There it goes. 600. 700. One thousand eighty. So let's go right at one thousand. I'm just gonna let it sit at one thousand. Trying to fine tune it right here. Okay, it's close enough, right? One thousand eight watts. You're pulling your maximum wattage. And you still have a pure sine wave, guys. Uh, with a thousand watt coming on, zero distortion. Pulling a thousand watts and zero noise. You can barely hear the fan. Real quiet fan. And you still have 12.9. One thing I wish it had was a timer versus just a percentage. Okay, let's go for the overload. 1,130, there you go. So on the 1,000 watt, we got 1,135 watts and before it overloaded, which is perfect. And we pulled a pure sine wave the entire time. All right, let me put this thing on the solar panel. I know we don't have a lot of sun, so I'm just gonna show you that we can't charge it with solar, all right? Let's grab the thousand watts. Get all this unplugged. Okay guys, we got the solar panel out. I'm just gonna grab the connector right here, solar plug, and I'm just gonna plug it in right here. Black, red, put it in, and right away, you see that input? You're getting 60, there you go. Not a lot of sun, but you're getting, and your uh, regular DC output stays the same, even if it's charging. Pulling right about 67 watts from this 100 watt panel in this sun. It's not a lot of sun right now, and we're getting more than half okay guys where it is different is when it comes to ac charging this one comes with the 1000 you see it's a little bigger you do have the brick i prefer when they're inside but this one comes with the brick and you get your cigarette lighter and you got you get another uh solar plug with this one so you can actually plug into the dc side and use your mc4 connectors Let's connect this to AC and I wanna see exactly how much it takes when it's uh, charging, okay? On the 500, you get a smaller brick. You do get the other uh, DC input for solar charging and one for the car charger. All right, let me get some power over here so we can plug these things in 
and see exactly what we get when we AC charge. All right, guys, I have the AC adapter plugged in. We're gonna come right here and just plug it in right here into the DC. Let's see what we get when we AC charge. This is a 500 watt. All right, guys, so you see you're pulling right about 100 watts and you have 519 watt hours. So that means from zero to full charge on this thing, it's gonna be a while. It's a slow charger because it uses the brick. You know, so at 100 watt for 500 and something watt hour, you're looking at five hours for this thing to fully charge. Okay, let's do the 1000. Let me get the brick plugged in. Okay, we got the 1000 watt plugged in and get this thing charging. Let's see it build up. Okay, this one's pulling about 153 watts with 999 watt hour guys you're looking right about six and a half hours from zero to 100 on this model all right there you have it we did the ac charging the only thing we haven't tried is the dc okay guys we're going to utilize this one to charge this one dc all right so I have it plugged in right here and I'm going to plug it into the DC. So when you're charging from the car, you can get right around, still going up, 80 watts. Okay. Look like you're going to get right at 96 and so that would be right about 100 watts and you can see we're pulling 113 watts from the DC so 1 112 coming out here 96 going in here let's try it the opposite way unplug this one let's take 1000 and charge the 500 95 watts DC input and 111 output so exact same thing there you have it all right guys thanks for watching this quick unboxing and reviewing and test of this EBL portable power station the 500 watt and the 1000 watt guys I am going to put the link to this power portable power station in the description if you want to check them out Go down in the description, you get the links so you can buy these ones. 1,500. Guys, thanks for watching this quick review. Have a great day. Bye.